White goop. White goop. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 talking about wishing for the sweet release of death? Yeah. You know, one what, what of those moments when you're just like, I love dying and I want to die. Because <laughs> I have like one of those shitty spring, spring mattresses. Yeah, like a mattress that comes after winter but before summer. That's right, that's right. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to hold him to it. Screw it. I'm going to hold him to it. What was that about the blood of Christ? <laughs> Right, oh my god, I'm crying. This is the end that I know. I was dying. Oh! It's Tuesday night! And that means it has got to be goat time for the best of the worst of the internet. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm gonna set this motherfucker on fire. By this motherfucker, I mean this log. We're gonna burn it alive. Hi, Justin. How are you? <laughs> You're ready Fuck to burn these it. logs, dog, man. These logs are all up in my shit. I'm just like, hey, log. You want to roll up to me? Well, then you somebody pushed you down a hill because you're an inanimate object. That's right. And then the logs all just like rolling, like whatever. I roll over. I'm gonna kill all these ants. Uh, when the log rolls over, you will be dead. Coming at me, I'm like, no, motherfucker, I'm a steam train. I'm a steam train going to burn you alive and change you into energy to propel me across my westward expansion. Yeah. And Golden then, spike, motherfucker. And then the log talks and it's like, yeah, but who built your railroad tracks? Yeah, who? I'm like, well, the, the Chinese. <laughs> why? Why? Who built yours? I'm a log. I don't have tracks, <laughs> nor no beef with the Chinese. Like, I'm morally superior to you. <laughs> Hashtag logs equal freedom. <laughs> oh, that's a heck of a log line. Let's take it to Hollywood. <laughs> and, uh, and smash cut to us in the room. And they're like, um, did you did you did you write this log line this way because it had the word log in it? We're like, yeah, man. <laughs> I thought that's what is that yeah, not? No, no, no. But but for real, it's Fievel goes west meets Selma. <laughs> With a little Fern gully in there to, to a little fern gully, you know, just a sprinkle, a dash, a pinch. Speaking of fern gully, man, you uh, you you hear you hear this talk about like uh, uh, twenty years of Avatar coming in our face. Well, the, but that's we've lived in that reality for the past ten years. Yeah, but, but now, like, now, they now, keep now, moving back. The yep, they get moving back when it's supposed to come out. It was we we were supposed to be done with the trilogy by now. Correct. When, when Correct. It first came out. Well, first of all, it's no longer a trilogy. Now it's going to be four movies uh, yeah. because four is a good round number. Uh, but they uh, they released like some some footage from I want to say like a Japanese tour or something like that. Like the animatronics on the uh, you know you see a four armed bongo banging um, uh, uh, what's his name? All right, all right, all right. Uh, Matthew, Matthew, McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey or Hitler or Hitler. <laughs> yeah. If you've been deep listening, cut, deep cut, listen to weird things. <laughs> yeah. Move on. Uh, yeah, dude, they're, they're pretty good. Um, but they still have that uncanny value here. Take a look, take a look at this business. Tell me, uh, have you seen this before? Uh, he oh, asked oh, very slowly. The, this is the theme park. Yeah, correct. Correct. Like live action, like, like, uh, super precise animatronic stuff. Yeah, this is in uh, this is here in Orlando. Is that uh, is is that out or this is just media preview uh, stuff? This is I mean they're doing previews now, which is why you're gonna why you're starting to see stuff. Yeah. Anyway, get ready for Avatar Forever. Uh, yeah. Do you think that like that James Cameron doesn't want to make any of them, but he just like like it's like a fun prank for him to just call the studio head and just be like, oh yeah, turns out I'm writing the script, man. I can't get to the end of it. I'm gonna need a fifth movie. 
And he's like, like, really? It's like, yeah. I mean, I'm James Cameron. I've made two of the top three movies of all time. So I think you could have to do whatever I want. So how about you give me a fifth movie? He runs out of ideas. And so like midway through the sequel of, of Avatar, like they're not under attacked by, by humans, but instead they're just kind of bored. And so uh, they invent movies and then they it becomes about them trying to create Star Wars. Create a movie. Yeah. And then it just and then there's a James Cameron Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, and he's like, he calls he's like, tree and he's like, hey, listen, man, I think I'm just going to need a fifth uh, uh, bleep blop ding dong. Uh, you know, listen, the first one was so successful. After I made Titanin, uh, you know, you can't uh, deny my genius. But, Sorry. But then meanwhile, like, uh, hey, Home Tree called. Uh, they're really ready for the first cut. And you're like, no, I have to finish my uh, descent to the bottom of the endless valley I've created for my movie, The Ultimate Bubble. Watch. Do, 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 do. I set a record. I'm James Cameron's avatar. That's it. And then it starts its own trilogy of just the spin-off of just James Cameron's it's avatar. Ulti- it's a fractal. It's so recursive. You never get to the to the next episode. Oh my god, what a four quadrant hit. <laughs> uh four quadrant. That's what? Old young male female? Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, glad we got that settled. Hey man, uh let's let's crab and grouse. That's our new morning duo. Yeah, oh, I'm dude, crab. grab a grouse. Grab and all right, who are you? I'm Philip Grab. I, I well, I'm, I'm <laughs> well, grab and grouse or crab and grouse. Uh, 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 oh no, grab. I'm, but I'm my nickname's Crab because it sounds like, like, like. Uh, all right, crab. so I'm and yeah. I'm Krause, but everyone calls me Grouse. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. You are, you are the, you're, you're the Grouse because one of one of them's always a the the. <laughs> crab like, and the grouse. Yeah, crab and uh, yeah, crab and the grouse. <laughs> All right, I'll be the grouse. And where are we on? We're on in in, in what Iowa? Uh, well, see, that's I, I feel like we're you know what we're actually we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, dude, huge in in uh, Baton Rouge in, 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 the, in the BR. <laughs> In the in the BR as we like to call it. Yeah, it's exactly. So all right, so, so we're we're coming in. We're coming in from break. Uh, hey everybody, it's me, Todd Grab. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm the grouse, but I'm you know what? I'm not feeling it today, Grab. I'm I'm not hey, feeling man, it. And what's good? I mean, I, I'll tell you what. I, after all that T Swift is going through, you shouldn't really have anything to complain about, the grouse. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know what? Remember how we got uh, 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 elevated to number one in the region last year uh, due to our amazing fan support? Br number one. Yeah. Well, guess what? Br changed mayors. Uh, and by changed mayors, I mean they have the same mayor, and then they changed the literal law, and now uh, your votes don't matter. This stunning reversal of my universe has led me to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yes, All right, yes. who had car bomb? <laughs> Uh, all right. No. Uh, so uh, if it's not painfully clear what's happening, we're talking about the podcast awards. Uh, yeah, they uh, they they have uh, the uh, new they have rule a new website and a bunch of new rules. New rules are called crab and grouse. Uh, they're not so much uh, welcome. All right. Uh, say, if, if we were going to give a, a brief recap for people who are just catching up, weren't here with us last year. How All right, here we go. We uh, let, let's go ahead and let's uh, give experience. me some dramatic music, and we'll do a previously on. How about this? <clears throat> yeah, ready. Uh, and you have to do the HBO th- like yeah. sign in music. Oh, so the, can... like uh, Achra. Great, it's perfect. <clears throat> previously on Night Attack. Hey, Justin, did you hear about these awards? People from the public can vote, and it's the people's choice. And if the people vote for you, you get an award. They're called the Podcast Awards. You want to know what, Brian? I believe that we can win one of them awards. Oh, man, that'd be a big deal. We'd have to work awful hard to make their awards very popular. We'd have to band together with a bunch of other like-minded shows from maybe a loose affiliation of a network of people. That way, the Podcast Awards will be more famous than ever. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get the votes to where we can win. 
Brian, ever since you told me about the podcast awards four months ago, it's a montage, we've been working really hard on doing these podcast awards. I think we might win. Oh, man. It's too bad that Todd Cocker doesn't run the podcast awards anymore and sold them to BMX uh, or whatever that, that thing was. I'm sure it'll go great. Uh, it's too bad he doesn't get to directly participate in them, but we'll honor his memory as all of us vote real hard. Uh, meanwhile, the night of the awards... <laughs> oh, we won the awards! Meanwhile, six months later... <laughs> oh man, there's another year! We should try to win the awards again! <laughs> Hey, man, I think since you told me about these awards, we can win one of them. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's real hard because their, their site is hot garbage and it's hard to read. You'd be better off trying to understand a barcode. Maybe somebody could write something that actually fucking makes it legible and allows you to remember what the fuck you're doing. I think we should. Brian, <laughs> since you just told me about that one month ago, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We're all working real hard at promoting this thing. Hooray! Uh, I think we might win. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the Night of the Awards, Justin. Holy crap. Even though uh, our, our, the Night Attack was disqualified for reasons that still are not clear, our you other shows... <laughs> our, our other shows <laughs> uh, are, seem to be winning. That's great. Uh, uh, wait. Something happened! Man, seems like Todd Cochran's really hot at us! <laughs> oh man, not only is he hot, he's really attractive. I just want to see him without a shirt. <laughs> I, I photoshopped this photo of me giving him a kiss the other day. Take a look at it, Justin. What do you think? I think it's great! <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, surely he would be happy with us trying really hard in a popularity contest to be popular. I mean, we want to win his award, and we'd like to fuck him. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, guess what? It turns out we're getting fucked by him. He says our win wasn't valid. That we <laughs> violated the spirit of the podcast awards by trying real hard. Well, I'm sure everybody will take this and try it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're looking at the Internet. There you go again, Crab. Oh, everybody's really pissed off, man. <laughs> They've drawn lines in the sand. Oh, man. Uh, well, at least we have a clear resolution, and he realizes that he didn't just sour the validity of his own awards by taking a giant dump on its own credibility. Six months later, shit, he took a giant dump on his own credibility. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, well, here we are, 2017. Maybe this time, Crab, we can really make it happen. Right. <laughs> we now resume the yeah. podcast awards. <laughs> Stay tuned after um, the show for a look behind this episode. I think we actually <laughs> kind of went into this week's episode, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess, look, you got to keep the eyeballs tuned in. Now it dials back. Uh, uh, camera opens on, on yeah. uh, an Irish plane. <laughs> and you, you, hear, you hear a jaunty ditty play in the background as, uh, as a schoolgirl uh, skips her doodle way uh, over the hill in a beautiful land. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, okay. Here I come. Oh, someday in a thousand years, there'll be a podcast award. <laughs> also, podcasts will exist. And they'll be... <laughs> hey, you listen here, you little lassie. Why don't you get off the street? Oh, I'm sorry. I just hope to give birth to someone who a thousand generations from now will create awards that is the people's voice. I hope you get punched in the tit. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm underdeveloped sexually, so that'll be awkward. Also, I think you're a pervert. You're right. I'm going to go turn myself in. <laughs> okay, dokie. All right, so I'm going to get married and have kids. Uh, uh, a thousand years later. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, Timothy, how was how was your day at the Telegraph Factory? 
Well, uh, I'm really getting good at telegraphing. <laughs> well, oh, uh, have you started uh, sending out missives to the general public, uh, easily downloadable in a in a uh, RSS feed? You want to know what? I was just starting to think about it. And at first it seemed like a really great idea, but then it seemed like it would just immediately get dominated by faded celebrities and stand-up comedians <laughs> interviewing each other. Oh, oh, well, let's go to sleep for a hundred years, Timmy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yawn. Oh, wait, did we miss it? Did we miss the podcast revolution? No, Brian. I'm Podcastion, the god of podcasting. <laughs> oh. And here we, we, we see the dawning of the revolution. Oh, man, everything's so glowing and sci-fi. It's all around me in 360 degrees. Finally, people will have unrivaled access to the thoughts and meanderings of faded celebrities and stand-up comedians interviewing each other. Oh, but it's not like something like the President of the United States would take seriously, right? It is, but only about the shows where stand-up comedians interview each other. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, what about a small-time show like two horseshit fake comedians, one in Austin and one in Oakland. Surely the public can vote for them and pick them as their favorite. Only by one measure should you win not only one but two podcast awards that are conferred without angst by the governing body. <laughs> Wait, conferred without angst? What does that mean, podcast <laughs> Well, that sounds really poorly worded. Huh. 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 Six months later, this is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I guess they changed the rules. <laughs> they did. Uh, what, weirdly. Yeah. In, in case you idiots didn't get what we're trying to say. <laughs> um. So the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I, I realized we just did a bit, but just for people who didn't know what the fuck happened, there was this thing called the Podcast Awards. We won the Podcast Awards by organizing our communities. The next year we did it, we uh, did it more efficiently, and uh, uh, everything blew up the night that they handed out the awards where Todd Cochran uh, uh, was uh, uh, believed that we had used untoward means and violated the spirit of the podcast awards. He also humorously called us Diamond Group instead of Diamond Club, and that has become and, and by the way, little... continues to call us Diamond Group. Because <laughs> Vitula <laughs> keeps saying he the does, Diamond Group, group did nothing wrong. And he says, he says that we were mocking, uh, which, by the way, um, and 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 this is this is the part that like truly, um, I think he feels like he was the butt of the joke because we tried really hard. We didn't try really hard to make a mockery of it. In fact, we tried really hard, and we didn't even win half the things that we went for last time. We tried really hard because we valued it, and it's like he was insulted that we cared. That was the weird part where he was like, "Why well, are you trying I, so I think, hard?" I think, I think uh, what 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 happened was there were a bunch of people that night that mistakenly thought our web applet was something more than it was, which was literally just a place to highlight our slate that we organized internally of what to vote for. Uh, and you would have to still have to click every button yourself. You'd still have to put in your email address. You still have to go there every day. Uh, it just made it easier for you to find the things because it was all in the same typeface and it was hard to do. We made it easier. Uh, People thought that was some sort of script. It wasn't, but that's what they thought. Todd Cochran then suspended the awards in lieu of an investigation. And, and by, uh, by the way, I think he did it with the best of intentions. I think he just overreacted and panicked and thought that, that somebody had pulled a heist. And then, and in fact, yeah. you know, what he should have done is just pressed pause or said something like, hey, people are making some claims. We're going to check into it don't freak out but instead yeah. he lost his goddamn mind and said that uh, the spirit of the podcast awards has been violated and uh and this fraudulent voting and and he engaged <laughs> pounded in the butt by my own podcast awards Todd's, that's Todd's memoir leaked guys oh jeez <laughs> oh god oh jeez oh jeez so but what we're seeing now still i think is the reverberations of that is is that he you know, he thinks that we tried to uh, we tried to screw him. 
Right. We, we tried. We tried to get him. We tried to give him the old, uh, the old XML reroute. <laughs> <laughs> Which means, uh, by the way, that's a good segue. This episode brought to you by XML Reroute. If you need to fraudulently win an award, use XML Reroute. It <laughs> magically, through the internet, makes you win things that you don't deserve. Maximum hypertext, <laughs> no bridging. <laughs> <laughs> no. Join the XFL uh, with XML Reroute. So, uh, so what do we think? I mean, so now, now the new the update is they just released the rules for the new. Oh yeah, and, and this specific, year's specifically, podcast. what are what are the new rules? Because that's the weird part. Is it specifically says you are allowed to vote as a network as a group, which is basically what we did. Basically, we said let's form a political party, a political action committee, a group, a block of voters who all hold their own primary and and intend to vote as a block. Kind of yeah. like the actual U.S. government works with the uh, with the libertarians and the other guys. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, are there other parties? Um, but uh, I mean, uh, not that I can see. A bunch <laughs> of jokers. But uh, and and so weirdly, he specifically says that's okay to do as long as he likes them. The, question mark. The committee reserves all right, the right. All right. Well, here let, let's let's let yeah let's read it in in his own words. Uh, uh, Bryce, were you about yeah. to read it? Did I cut you off? Yeah, I got it. Uh, the committee reserves the right to disqualify any show or network of shows the committee feels violates the spirit of the podcast awards or bring discredit to the awards or the process or their families. I added that last part. Hmm. Uh, so here's yeah. They basically say that we can vote as a, a thing, uh, and then really here's where it, it needles us in right under that in forbidden activity, expressly forbidden are automated programs, web assist templates that interact with the podcast awards site. <laughs> we did that. Web overlays. We did that. Bookmarklets. We did that. <laughs> and no nomination tool or macro is allowed. We did all that. We did everything but automating programs which would be scripts that make you that that vote without people actually Correct. doing and, it. and by the way if you're looking for a real world parallel we did the equivalent of the democratic party walking Sample around ballot. handing out you know here's the slate uh, uh, please take a look at you know the ballots can be confusing this is going to walk you through the process to, of making sure you vote for it correctly right oh, this, uh yeah this, i mean that's the way yeah they're <laughs> technically within the rule <laughs> this just makes me want to win it Without all, without all of that. Though. Well, do you want do you want to know what what the new? Because n- now there is no voting. Uh, yeah, because every day anymore. whenever There's you no think of the, the people's choice, what, what you think of. Voting? <laughs> hey, that's the only way to make it the people's choice, Bonnie. Oh you have to take gosh. away voting. They're like, excuse me, I figured <clears throat> out what the U.S. government figured out and that the populace is too stupid to vote. So we'll just. Uh, so there will be a committee. Here's, here's here's the deal. Yeah, yeah wait, wait. Uh, Bryce, yeah. read read how the awards will be decided. Sure. There's no longer daily voting by the public. Voting will be done as outlined. The awards committee will invite journalists, podcast thought leaders, legacy podcast sponsors, and individuals of the committee's choosing to vote, not to exceed 50 people. Through random selection, 50 registered podcasters will be asked to review and vote, and then 250 random registered listeners will be allowed to vote. A panel of 350 people will independently review and vote to determine a winner in each category. It's called gerrymandering. That more than 50 percent. Gerrymandering. Oh, gerrymandering. That, that means that more than 50 percent will be people who are uh, nominating podcasts. And when they nominate a podcast, check, I would like to be on the voting committee. <laughs> so theoretically, if there was a large group of people that liked certain podcasts, they could just all nominate the podcast or nominate other podcasts uh, after we felt that there was enough of, uh, enough time or to use multiple emails to, to nominate multiple <laughs> podcasts. I'm sure there's uh, a fee. I'm sure he's going to, I'm sure he's figured out that he can get paid. There is a $10 so fee. F- things? Yeah. There's only a $10 fee for podcasts that to have to pay before the nomination period ends, I believe you have to you have to pay to be considered to be nominated. Here's uh, here's my also, point. Yeah, this is yeah. easier to game by far. Yes, but but and only this, if you have deep pockets and you could cut him in. And also, no, 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 no. We have to nominate our podcast. Ten dollars to him. I mean, other than that, I mean, it's nominations. <clears throat> 
of people who are doing it based on his rules. Dude. These are all just random listeners that he's contacted. I mean, are you are, are you, you are you remotely are you interested in playing this game again, knowing I'm that it's saying, baked I'm into the rules? We are. I'm saying this is an easier version of it. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Like I, I'm not like because because to be honest with you, the the worst thing about it is that we like we are at this point with Todd Cochran. Like, I, we have no beef with Todd Cochran. I love the podcast awards. It's the reason why we went so hard for it. I really like having this. I like having it on my resume and Wikipedia. It's awesome. It's an institution that, by the way, we now have a vested interest in making as prestigious as possible. If the podcast awards within five years became the Oscars, it would be rad because we would be multiple time Oscar winners. We want this thing to be as big as possible. And the fact that we pissed off this dude, Brian, he is this pissed off and he lives in Hawaii. No, he that's... is on, he is in paradise and he is this pissed off. We pissed this guy off so bad that he is furious in paradise. Um, Furious in Paradise <laughs> is my favorite uh, Hemingway novel. Furious <laughs> in Paradise. <laughs> That's uh, God, it's it's just such a bummer because like um, I don't understand what he has to be upset about. Like a bunch of people tried really hard to play by the. He held a popularity contest, and then we worked really hard to be the most popular, and we were for some of them, uh, not even all of them. Like how, how do you, how do you, I don't know. So, so you have, so you have, uh, is, is this it? Is this the last time we talk about the podcast awards? Yeah, no, I'd hate to say it, but, uh, I, I mean, I don't know, unless, unless something hilarious gets nominated, in which case we all campaign for that. Okay. So I'm, I'm like thinking gaming the system here and I'm like, either you win it, either, either you win it. Regardless of the rule changes, or you create your own podcast. Oh, you know what? Okay, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. Uh, you know, it seems like he's really worried about the spirit of podcasting being preserved. Yeah. And I think it should be preserved. In fact, I'm announcing right now that we are going to have oh, our own awards. <laughs> where, uh, where it's called the Spirit of Podcasting Awards. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have wait, wait, wait. and only dead podcasts. Get nominated. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna have our own awards called the Spirit of Podcasting Awards with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think that's the best way to preserve the spirit of podcasting, right? I mean. Dude, the only thing about these jokes is like literally we're going to talk ourselves into actually running <laughs> big fucking awards, which by the way is a thankless job. I'm sure like Doc Ogger's like, good motherfuckers, run your own awards. Not, 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 not oh, you know what? Open by you nailed it. We can have it during Nerdtacular. We can <laughs> have our big announcements. We can play music and show montage clips. <laughs> oh, God. No, I think what I do like we this... we just nominate all of his podcasts and we just give him his podcast awards? Who? Uh, Todd, uh, Todd Cochran's. We just give Todd Cochran a bunch of awards. <laughs> <laughs> Accepting the award on his behalf is Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we did it. We did it up there in heaven, Todd Cochran. Todd Cochran, TC. I got to tell you, if there wasn't a stupid hat involved, then everything would have been fine. <laughs> well, that's the problem is that we're a comedy podcast. And so even though we were working very hard and we were trying very hard to promote his his, you know, shindig, um, we did it with the veneer of silliness, which to the uninitiated uh, night attack can look mean on the surface although it all comes from a place of love todd sure, we love you. yeah to a bunch of to a bunch of cucks <laughs> oh, jesus christ <laughs> God i mean if you're used what? to the gentle weather of hawaii and have never had experience <laughs> buddy are you saying everyone on hawaii is a libtard cuck is that <laughs> Yeah. I think maybe they just do. You know, what bunch of SJW lip park cucks, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> I actually don't know what that means. Oh, <laughs> so much the better. So much the better. I don't want to watch a video either. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, Brian, you were saying. Oh, no. You know, oh, no. On the outside, it looks like we're mean. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> big hugs to our BFF in Hawaii. <laughs> It's yeah, okay. I mean, You're going to get through this. Everything's good. No need. Uh, uh, we can take a hint, and uh, we're just going to yeah, – we bought the lot next door, <laughs> and we're going to build. <laughs> the spirit of the spirit, pod- the spirit of podcasting awards coming soon. I like to imagine that we'd run them out of the same, like, empty uh, warehouse that the spirit Halloween stores are run out of. <laughs> Both of them – for uh for for sponsorship opportunities i feel like you know if you need a a, a trash bag painted like uh, uh optimus prime come down to this and also get a podcast award. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i remember brian took josie down there when she was like six and they brought home the grossest Halloween stuff. Oh, from Spirit? <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. I know. Those places creep me out. As does this podcast award. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, can we can we say let's let's stand down though on anything cuz I know that there there's a lot of people that are still pissed off about stuff like Mitsula Look, it's, it's and yeah, it's it's Sun it's fun a... and they interacted with him. He's gotten salty. Let's say stand down. Yeah, Everybody... no, leave 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 him alone, man. Uh like yeah. like um uh, yes, yes, we all agree. He handled last year astonishingly poorly, which means he deserves our 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 uh our our, our, our pity and our warmth, not our scorn and hate. You know, it's like a, a dude's running everything on his own. He he mistakenly. It's one dude. It's one dude. Yeah, he like, mistakenly thought that we were trying to screw him over, which of course we weren't. We we're trying to promote his thing, but whatever. Um, and uh, and and so uh, cut the guy a break. The poor guy has to live on an island in paradise, and and have his awards that he's run forever. Yeah. And and plus, you he's know, working really hard to undercut the value of his own awards. He keeps uh, banning previous winners. I mean, let let the guy go to work on his own on on <laughs> cutting down his own empire. I mean, the guy just on. wants God. The, the guy's alone with an axe, trying to chop the whole thing down. Just let him do it. Come on, man. Brian, this doesn't sound like you. You're like, guys, can we please stop dumping gasoline on this fire? Like, it's a really big fire already, and I'm just trying to stop people from dumping all this gasoline. I mean, <laughs> quit punching him. Quit punching Todd Cochran. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's, uh, look, I mean, uh, he has made a bunch of decisions that I would disagree with. If I was his advisor, I would say, I don't know, be more inclusive instead of more exclusive. I would say maybe don't change the rules to alienate everybody who announces loudly that they really care about your award and want to try hard to win it Uh, and and all this stuff. We agree to disagree. Uh, Tomato, tomato. That's that's our motto. Oh, that's cute. (laughs) That's that's pretty good. Uh... And if you agree, you can support the Spirit of Podcast Awards by heading on over to patreon.com slash night attack. Like... Yeah, man. Wait, tell wait, you wait, what. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the best like... thing about patreon.com slash night attack. We get money from it. But I guess in a more general sense, it's the place where you can get not only this show, but also specific RSS feeds for the pre and post show that come to you a day earlier than they get posted on YouTube. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, for the record, we were having a meeting, and Justin, out of nowhere, said, you know what I fucking hate is a bunch of people, they're banding together, and they're trying to give us money as a group because they want to influence our show. And I was like, Justin, yeah, you shouldn't be worried about that. And he was like, no, it undercuts the spirit of Patreon. And then I was It like, does, it does. You want to know what? And that's why I would like to ban, I would really like to expressly forbid anybody giving us the following as singles or a group. Dollars, five dollars, 
Ten dollars and any denomination of cents are not allowed when you come to patreon.com slash night attack. Ah, oh, man, and I said that's crazy. You should have a spirit of inclusion. That's the way to be successful and make the most people happy. Plus, then they'll they'll all be excited and spread the word about our show. Man, you've made a good point. <laughs> I'm lifting all of the new forbidden dictates. <laughs> You can give whatever you want to patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, you know what? I think we should celebrate the people who donate to us by calling out their name in... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... Uh, I don't know what this person is doing. Largely because I've lost my connection to Wi-Fi. So you know I'm just going to bust out this here phone. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, here it is. Okay, great. Uh, 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 um. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what this person's doing. This person. Uh, well, here, just, just so everybody knows, if you adjust upward <laughs> your uh, uh, pledge to Night Attack within the week, Brian will take a look. And we will chant one person's name per week if you have adjusted your uh, pledge upward. Man, this person feels like an artist. I think it's a kindred spirit of yours, Bonnie. I think this oh, person is he is he is he at the kiln? No, no. This person this person works in oils uh, and ah. at an oil refinery. He's in the middle oh. of of fracking and cracking all that oil. <laughs> And then no, on the wait, side, is, is he keeping it secret from the rest of the boys? Like all the roughnecks are just like, <laughs> hey, man, you know what I like? Crushing pussy and drinking beer. <laughs> and right. he's like, sure, guys, I'll meet you down at the bar. And then uh, 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 classical music plays as he starts to work on his like beautiful uh, landscapes. <laughs> I, I just can't seem to get the reds of this sunset. God damn you, muse. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, well, what you what you doing back here in the closet? Oh, uh, nothing, Cletus. I'm just ready to just to, to smash that gash later at the bar. Smash right? that gash. <laughs> uh, well, that sounds like non-consensual sex. You know we don't approve of that. Uh, hey, just joking. Hashtag triggered, you snowflake lip <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, which one's better, burnt umber or or rust? Oh my life! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, this one goes out to you, <laughs> Rene Krutoff. Rene Krutoff. Kate, Kate, yeah. Rene Crouton. Rene, Rene. Paint like the wind. Rene Crouton. Rene Crouton. Rene Crouton. Rene Crouton. Rene Crouton. Rene Crouton. It's my favorite number one single. Turkey's EDM hit. Turkey's EDM hit. Hey, talking about musical smash gashes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can this bit live up to this? We'll see, huh? <laughs> By the way, uh, 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 Renegu in the chat room says, yeah, what a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we love you, Rene Krutoff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, hey, wait, do we, before we get into our bid, do we ever settle on, on, a, on a racial ambiguous picture of me that we can reach with? <laughs> I don't know. Have we seen it on Twitter yet? If, if you guys have a link, throw it into the chat. We had a thing in the pre-show. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Ren, access to. Ren, well, actually, we got one from Ren Igu. Guess we're, I'm going to retweet this on the Night Attack Show account, so just... Hey, Everybody... look, his name is Renee. Isn't that crazy? That was the name <laughs> we were just cra saying. Crazy name. Yeah. Crazy name. So just go to the Night Attack Show Twitter and just retweet this great image of why. Guess 
get guess with one S what race this man is. Uh, <laughs> guess with one S. Gwiz. Gwiz. Gwiz, what race is man is? <laughs> uh, so yeah, everybody retweet that now. And He's we're our special find... Gwiz, our Gwiz star tonight. <laughs> we are going to find out uh, uh, what the inter- <laughs> what race the internet thinks I am. Uh, all right, hold on. Okay. Uh, well, in the meantime, I'd like to welcome you guys. You, you know, uh, uh, you know, Fox, the the cable uh, entertainment and and you know family family na- you know network, right? Where you can see shows like uh, what is on Fox? What right the now? fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Trying to segue to our goddamn bit. You have, You're gone, the- you have gone like three months being like the secret weapon of this show and for whatever reason you just had a fucking stroke on air what happened there i'm trying to set up this guy he's looking up how to retweet something <laughs> clip that out i want to see that as a clip in five seconds you need to play back whatever the fuck that was oh my god he did he had a stroke right there oh my god <laughs> I may. Bryce, you smell toast. <laughs> no, hold on. I can smile. I'll all talk. right. All oh, right. Raise my hands. All right. So uh, what was going on? <laughs> so uh, we bought the rights. We were able to get some rights from Fox. Oh, from the, the network from the Fox. Fox Network. The Fox, the yes. Fox network, network. Where you uh, can see shows uh, by the way, like for the American record, American Idol. For, sure. for the record. You could. Donut Podcast Awards. None. On on Fox. Don't Fox has any. zero podcast awards. That's right. Uh, so I was able to go up and talk to, you know, hey, Jeff Foxworthy, just let me <laughs> let me get some of these IPs. You slide in and you're like, uh, you're like, I might be a podcaster if <laughs> I were to steal some of this right in front of you. Am I right? Here's your contract. Because I've got to transfer right. over the title. So that's good. That's we good. actually got the rights of the American Idol. Uh uh, IP. Oh so, my God! So I'd like to introduce everybody. Oh my to... Jesus Christ! That's that's a, a, that's that's a valuable cool. IP. It's, it's a I, th- I thought we were small time, but now it sounds like we have the IP to American <laughs> Idol. That's right. So I'd like oh to welcome God. everybody to Chat Everyone. Realm Idol. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Chat Realm Idol. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> so we uh we 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 reached out to all of our fans and said, Hey, there's this, this app. You know, a lot of a lot of our fans are actually <laughs> mute. I didn't know that. Uh, oh, wow. well, so they can't they can't uh they can't speak. Can't speak <clears throat> at all, not one word. Mm. But the through the power of technology and apps, there's uh you can type in words and have, have computers sing for you. So <laughs> but, hold on, the clip by the way that Kruvik just pulled out is called Neshcom.exe has crashed. <laughs> So right. let's just let's just take a look. Let's just we can all sure. learn from our mistakes. Let's just take <laughs> we're not gonna do. We, we just did that it. moment. Don't we're not. We're not I'm gonna, gonna die. Of all right. Just I mean, just a quick look. I, just I mean, it's gotta be a quick clip. It's gotta be a real quick clip. Ah, uh, you're killing me. <laughs> no. Oh, it's loading. Yeah. It's network right where you can see shows like. <laughs> Uh, what what right the now? fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's like it's like it's like, like a moment, it's like that moment from uh, Always Sunny when they're on Family Feud and like they can't name the most obvious name a show on Fox. You're like, Ugh, uh, like uh, is it is it is uh, it Gang Smashers? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for trying to make lore. Look, <laughs> No, it, listen, we're just razzing you because literally it's like the one thing that you've messed up in the last three months since this show has been on a fucking roll. You're the best. What are we no. doing? Here we go. Diddy, right? Diddy. It's a, it's a program called Diddy, D-I-T-T-Y, and you type in words and you pick a song and it will actually stretch the words and then sing it to fit uh, the, the, the song. So, like, for example, here's, here's one that, that I came up with that I think is, is pretty good. Pretty great. 
So you give it words and it sings it to uh, to a song. So we got we got over fifty entries, you guys. All right. So we're just My gonna God. play new champion Woo, same champion Boo. Uh, so we'll start off with this one from Learning XP. Here we go. Okay. And, and okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you know what? Ready. This is not what I thought it was, but here we go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> You can't get an infection in your booty hole. It's a booty hole. <laughs> hey, by the way, do you know what I realized? Hmm. You know that our co-star on Romney Malco's movie? Yes. Is in Girls Trip? Oh shit. The booty hole movie? Oh shit. Wow. Oh shit. We I mean, there's one thing we should have asked about. Uh well, is whether or not she could get an infection <laughs> in her booty hole. Like, hey, listen, you mean, I saw that trailer, man. Great tra great trailer, man. Great trailer. <laughs> They're like, uh, did you do double blind peer reviewed testing on that thesis? <laughs> on I mean, just trying to hole. clear stuff up. Did you guys have to clear that with legal about the booty hole thing? Like, I mean, I, mean, I, 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 I know. know you say that you're not giving medical advice. Every comedy begins with that disclaimer, but some people uh. kind of, you know. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, uh, Brian, uh, new champion Woo, same champion Boo to the booty hole. Uh, default winner. That's yeah, that's, that's got to be the winner. All right. Same all right. champion. Oh uh, no 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 asshole clan. Hello. I, I, that I figured that's our that's our default. Um. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna stick with asshole clan. Hello. That was pretty. Yeah. Good. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this that was from ICU. By the way, I clicked the wrong link. This is Learning XP's link. Here we go. No, this that's is the not same it. thing. Oh, that's you got you got got. Oh no! You got got. You keep cl clicking on the wrong thing. Guess... He's having another stroke. Uh, we, uh, pump his chest. <laughs> pump his stomach. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. Hands up. Hands up. Okay, here we go. Let's let's do this one. This is from Learning XP. Please load. <laughs> it's that of course memorializing Brian's new fetish to jack off at his warehouse. <laughs> new fetish. Combining physical and economic gratification <laughs> in a thrilling crescendo. It's called an economic stimulus package. Look it up. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Brian, I'm going to give that one. Yeah. No, it's good. Pacing, pacing was good. It was tantric, and mm -hmm. then it finally just exploded at the end. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Brian's not still there, is she? Uh, uh, yeah, no, she's no, weeping she silently in the corner. It's fine. <laughs> oh, good, good, okay. good. Uh, congratulations, Learning XP. You're the current chat realm idol. Just that Brian tells me he's going to go meditate at the. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> God. Yeah, you know what? It's like you meditate a lot of times. He's working that chakra. And then, <laughs> and then, and then the one time you're not meditating, I should have just lied. I should have taken the hand job in Indonesia, and I should have lied. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh jeez. Night attack one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is our next one from Captain Thunder. Here we go. Jason Murphy's strange gray pants. <laughs> <laughs> pants is pretty good. Uh, All right, retweet that one right now on Night Attack. Everybody send that to Jason at Murphy. Captain Everybody Murphy. Everybody at reply Captain Murphy. At Captain Murphy. Sure. There we go. <laughs> it's it's been retweeted. <laughs> Is that same champion Boo or new champion Woo? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give new champion on that. Oh, I don't know if it's as good as that warehouse. All right, well, we can stick with the warehouse. Okay. okay. Yeah. New, new, uh, same champion Boo. That's great, but I don't know. All right. All right. This one's from uh, Not a Bottle of Rum. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> titled Cat Crack Is. Ha <laughs> ha 
That's definitely the new winner, man. <laughs> crack is a one of a kind. You can see him smoking crack that's up not on the a, Daily That's Crow. not only the winner. It's my favorite song ever written. That's amazing. <laughs> I would, I would fucking pay money for an actual arranged version of like a big soulful version of Pat Crack. <laughs> Can I hear it again, please? I'm sorry. Just say it. Okay, here we go. One more time. <laughs> oh For the people God. in the back. Oh, so good. Oh, hot damn. And I'll tell you what, those robots came for fucking Cogswell's job with a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, not a bottle of rum. You're the current <laughs> chat room idol. That sucks, man. Robots came for Cogswell's job, and he doesn't get paid for it. <laughs> like, they're coming for your hobbies. All right, this next one is from Max Trollbot. Talk about bots taking jobs. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. <laughs> no, literally. All the other ones, if you're only listening to this, all these videos also flash. You can put GIFs on them. You can put your own pictures and record live video and Words everything. Words and colors. This yeah. one's literally just because it's only one thing. It literally is just pizza all around and just one picture of pizza. <laughs> and the tiniest word of pizza because it's so wide. All right. Is this better or worse than cat No, crack? the cat crack. Cat crack was magical. Oh, pizza, pizza. That, that was a solid pizza roll, though. Pizza's brilliant, but I, I, I agree with you. Cat crack fucking is, is <sighs> catch him on the street up on a daily grind, man. <laughs> El Gato Machos <laughs> Jr. R.I.P. <laughs> All right, here's uh, oh, here we go. Here, here's one from uh, ICU. Let's uh, see what it <laughs> Come on. It's buddy. titled, What? How could? How could? Oh, here we go. <laughs> not bad not bad didn't didn't quite hit uh where the perfect bullseye like that last one though mm, all right oh you know i i just got a phone call from oh, we... fox apparently from jeff foxworthy apparently he did not have American Idol. He had uh, Country American Idol, which which means unfortunately we've we've had to change now to Chat Realm Idol do. So uh, w welcome us to the next round of Chat Realm Idol do. I I don't I don't do I don't do. Uh, okay, right on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, what, I'm sure there's like three subreddits that are thrilled by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one person's like, oh shit. All right, this one is from Runitude. Here we go. <laughs> Daddy of Five was too far back to Hitler. In the background is a dog wiping its ass on some carpet. Uh, not bad. Legitimate social commentary. Uh, not as good as. Uh... Yeah. No, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to say, uh, uh, not only is Cat Crack uh, better, but uh, we're going to move on to the next song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This one is from. Uh, oh, this one's from Ren Igu. Here we go. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty. Uh, Enter the cowboy. Yeah, man. It, it turns out there's an uncanny valley for advertising. <laughs> like, like uh, it's, it's good, but it's so good that I'm uncomfortable with it. Uh, yeah, uh, cat crack, still one of a kind. <laughs> yep, agreed. 
Agreed. All right, let's try. Uh, this one's from our, our good buddy, Gambling Man. Uh, uh oh, here, the gambles. Yeah, here we go. You're a conspiracy, Brian. Uh, 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 Are you I mean, Buster, you're not. Buster prove Smiley? You're not. Prove you're not. <laughs> I, I, do we have another one? I think it makes a lot of good points, IMO. <laughs> IMO. <laughs> All right, here's our next one from... Uh, Bonnie Vom was a false flag. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> All right, this one is this coming one? to us from Von Hungtaint. Here we go. Gotta get, 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 get and play and turn the rocks day and put my Gotta get, get it the way Gotta get, get and play and turn now. the rocks day now. and put my it the way oh. Oh. oh my god fucking that is brutal That's <laughs> That is awful. fucking brutality That's... That is an actual beheading <laughs> We us playing that is like showing an actual <laughs> beheading <laughs> Uh, yeah. By the way, we've got a response from Jason Murphy. His strange They're pants blue. were blue. <laughs> <laughs> Not gray. <laughs> Correcting because he called him gray. Is that why? <laughs> oh, hot damn. But a pass Brian, on that? I mean, that, that is. <sighs> that, that, I, I, I mean, that's. I, I, I got to give it to it. That's, that's, it's I, so brutal. It's so funny. It's it's, I, it's I, my, uh, that's it, my new champion woo. It's it's uh I mean you can maybe we'll both link back together but but uh from where I'm sitting like man that's that's a rough patch that guy's in and that's kicking up when he's down 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 and uh Oh uh, sh no uh, I, I, well, we don't disagree on that. <laughs> yeah. that. Like the only what we disagree on is whether or not that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be. I'll find it funnier tomorrow. But for right now, I do not. I do not All turn right, the key. I'll okay. go with you. Cat crack, still one of a kind. <laughs> All right. So we still have the same chat realm. I do. do. <laughs> All right. Okay. So just that, is that the name of it in Korea or something? I, I do. It's Japanese. It's Japanese. I, we, I, yeah, I we're working do, with okay. what we got here. We okay. Got okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. Listen, uh, this is the next one from Age of Trollbot. <laughs> Scam school, oh yeah, scam school, pull pot. Uh, <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad, but, but not bad. Uh, no, same what? champion, same, same champion. champion. What did you say? People bought scam school song set. Oh yeah, I, I, do, do you know there, there's like a whole fucking controversy of over what the lyrics to the scam school song are? I know that there's one guy who posts in every. It's not, it's not one guy. It's 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 dozens, if not hundreds, of people. Uh, there are dozens of us. <laughs> Justin, do, do uh, in the chat right now the song da -da 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 scam school. What are the next two words? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know that there's one guy who's always like scam school meow meow. There, there is. It is shocking how many people, and it's not just one guy. It's so many people who, who write uh, uh, meow meow, and then uh, as many people say meow meow, are people ask like, so I've never figured out what are the words it says after scam school, uh, and I'm just like, what? Anyway, there's that. <clears throat> well, you want to know what? I think it's because are they younger people who have never heard the Ramones, which that dude who's doing the thing is clearly trying to rip off. Co correct. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a Ramones inspired bit. It, it might be. It might be. Although his that, original, because that's like we know it's oh yeah, because we've heard Joey Ramone say like oh yeah like right, a million right. times, and so the the obvious imitation of that is very clear. I guess if you didn't, if you've never in your life heard anybody go, oh yeah, before, you'd be like, yeah, fucking meow meow, uh, chow chow, what's going on? Uh, dude, uh, dude uh, uh, there are people uh, in the chat right now chat saying right that now. he thought it was da da, or ba da. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> All right, well. Oh, right, like but... it was a magician thing? Was it ta da? Uh, school, ta da. Oh, I <laughs> could believe that. 
Oh wow, God, we've that's been so... thinking you are an asshole for fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> Scam school, ta-da. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's the final episode. He revealed that the words were actually ta-da. That's what Lincoln said. Don't diss my homies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be great if you just randomly in one of those end of the episode singers just go like, and you guys were right, the real lyrics were ta da, and like just walk off. <laughs> I'll save that for the final episode. <laughs> final episode. Uh, so I, I just got an unfortunate call from Japan, apparently. Oh, did we lose those rights? We, we lost Gosh the rights. darn it. So I'd like to welcome everybody now to the new renamed Chat Realm Idol. I Idol. Uh, idle, like we're we're not moving. I D L E. Yeah, we're idling. Okay, all right. I well, don't know why we're we're playing the sixty minutes <laughs> song because yeah, time is the passing. progression of time. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. We're idle. Oh uh, man, I hope Eric Idle doesn't hear about this. So uh, wait, wait, oh, hopefully Jesus he won't call. Christ. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. My phone's okay. blown up right now. So this is the next our next one Plus from Chinese. balloon <laughs> balloon knots. Here we go. Oh man, eight equals 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 D. Deep cut from seven years ago. This one gets yeah. my vote. Hey, really? <laughs> it just sounds like one of those. Three songs. mighty bone earth kings are we. <laughs> eight equals 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 D. So is that a mighty bone earth king? No, no I'm sticking. You want to know? I'm sticking. sorry. Like, like we just. Uh, Cat crack. It's uh, one of a kind. You gotta man. go with it. Yeah. Cat crack got me in the feels. Well, let's uh, let's see if we got another chat realm idol. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> God damn. We have to listen to the whole thing. All right, ready. Okay. All right. <laughs> they have a Trump and a Hillary option on Diddy. <laughs> We're not getting um, paid for that ad, I don't think. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't even know if Mel Rout's still a thing, but that's my new chat. <laughs> All right. Really? Yeah. All right. Better than Cat Crack, huh? I mean, it, it it has that little extra to it, you know. It, it fits. All right, it fits. all right. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll sign off on it. Little extra. I'll sign off on it. Okay. All right. Well, here is our next uh, uh, entry. This is from Not a Bottle of Rum. Here we go. Living in Texas pot, three <laughs> Oh, it buffered. What is it doing? It got off. Wow, not rich enough. Oh, no. Oh, oh it logged. Good ass oh, internet, huh? It's stalled out here. It's stalled out. <laughs> oh, man. You're going to lose points on that execution. You choked up there on the stage. Yeah, up on the stage where you're doing this live. That was really <laughs> fucked up that you stopped singing. Yo, dog, I thought it was messed up that you stopped performing in the middle of your performance, dog. I'm sorry, dog. Real quick sidebar. Brian, how much do you remember of American Idol that you could do an impression of? That's that uh, it? I mean, you had, you no, had one. I, I got that one. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I'm definitely not high as a kite. You're real nice. Very accurate. Really okay. Close. okay. Any more? I mean, they're now the most famous one, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I'm a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> And that was, that was his bit? Was he just kept shouting what a cunt he was? Yeah, he just kept shouting the C word on national <laughs> television. He just kept yelling it over and over I love again. Two. And he was just showered with praise from every <laughs> magazine and blogger. He said, I, I tell it like it is. I like two C words, cunt and Coca-Cola. I guess that's three C words. I'm Simon Cowell. Four, four C words. Those are the four I like. Oh, no, you guys. 
I just got a text from Morley Schaefer. We can't use the ah, stopwatch God damn it. anymore. I, 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 did Andy Rooney's ghost complain about how yeah. he was devaluing his brand? You know what I don't like is when people steal our internet, your intellectual property. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody ever played a click and click clack before us. Uh, so I'm, Fucked I'm, up, Bryce. He's dead. <laughs> So uh, now I would like to welcome you to the, the, the segment now named Chat Realm Isle. Like an island. Oh, like Survivor. <laughs> God, okay, there we go. A, a CBS property. We're go, a we're, CBS property. Listen, you have no idea. Everything's tied together. Shadowy businesses, uh, parent hey, corporations. Hey, real quick, real quick. Uh, this just in: the ticker tape of the the uh, ticker tape of racial jamboree is in. You want you want to read from the the racial ticker? Oh, uh, well, here, do we want to wrap this up before we get into the racial ticker, or uh, do okay, we want well, to do this we, we in wrap, the middle of this other bit? Up. We got a lot. Uh, well, what are we doing? Uh, play, play, play play give us, one. give play us, give us one. A, a one or two of the best ditties. Let's empty the tank. We're gonna find a final winner here. All right, let's. Uh, we got. I, I think I got two more here. Two real humdingers. This is from our own real horse boy. Here we go. Black people, Black people aren't slaves in America, guys. I mean, it's a fact. It's real. It's that lined up way too well. I've got, to, I've got to give that new champion, and I'm ashamed to admit it. That was. Who knows what that's a reference to? That thing is like five years old. That no, joke it's eight is... years old. It's eight years old. It's pre-NSFW show. That joke <laughs> is is as old as your middle daughter. <laughs> Wow. Such a jaunty too. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, there we go. New, well, no, no, champion boo. I'm not letting that be the the, the final champion. No. I'm not putting that up for chance. I'm just saying that one made me laugh harder than the last one. All right, fine. Black people aren't slaves in America. If you want to know what that is a reference to, fuck off. Whatever, <laughs> find it somewhere. Keep going, keep going. All right, all right. Uh, here we go. This is from uh, Not a Bottle of Rum on Twitter. Here we go. The crowd goes wild. Is that it? I think that one's it. Oh, we had, we had, we had, we had. Sometimes I worry, man, you know, I wish the show wasn't so inside baseball, but today we're just, we're just feasting on it. We're just going to. Oh this God. isn't inside baseball. We're living in a bunker under the field. Like, this is. <laughs> this was a reference to when I fucking ate my own butt uh, uh, trying to correct Ernie Klein, the guy who wrote Fanboys <laughs> on Star Wars. Uh, oh. uh, I was wrong hilariously. By the way, I ate is, my own that shit. That clip is only going to be better next year when Ready Player One comes out and is the biggest thing on the planet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I can like, well, yeah, I know. So, so a post of me on Medium, I ate my shit in front of uh, oh. Ernie Klein can go viral. Oh, oh my God. God, it was amazing. Uh, 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 oh, new champion woo. Yes. Okay. Such champion woo. Of All right. Real quick, uh, we got oh. one more here in uh, what is now legally contractually called Chat Realm Guile. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Dude, I'm so sad. That that song, that original song, I am the winner of this lame ass podcast game, 
was uh, done in the style of um, uh, We Are the Champions, yeah. uh, but it was an original tune that somebody wrote for us in the very early days of NSFW, and I've lost- Oh, was that BB Live? Well, no, 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 because we couldn't use, in BB Live show, we were always using- Oh, we would play You Are the Champion, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and we couldn't do it anymore, and they sent it to us, and none of us can find that original file, and-, and No. I, I I don't know what it would be called or around if that you time. Or someone you know has access <laughs> to the I am the winner for a lame ass podcast game. Please contact six, six, Unsolved six, Mysteries eight, at one eight six six eat fire. Six. No, no, you actually can't call me at one eight six six eat fire. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, one eight. Sorry, well, uh, that was just my home number. LOL. <laughs> call one eight six six eat fire again. That is one eight six six eat fire. All right. Well, that's that's gonna do it. Uh, and that was actually from uh, Not a Bottle of Rum. So he he actually scored his own win. But congratulations to Not a Bottle. Yeah. Of by Rum. the way, he turned out to be the goddamn Mozart of Diddy. Huh? <laughs> not a bottle of rum. Yeah. If you guys want that app, just go to. Uh, it sounds like we're doing an ad. Fuck no, you, Diddy. Not, nobody no, nobody it. sees it. Nobody. Okay. You'll never be able to create those musics. Pretend this is Kyle. <laughs> Hot damn. Hot damn. Uh, can we find out what race I am? Yeah. Okay. According to the feed, um, uh, you have something newsy? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, this just in. Dateline 2017. Mysterious scowling man appears on Twitter. Internet goes wild at the misspelling of the word guess. Also, what his race is. Coming in, Star Velvet Kiss calls him all of the above. Uh, El Doctor says he's Hispanic. Uh, Paradise Bob says he's a cow, possibly on meth. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, oh, wait, that's something different. Uh, Mustachialothopithecus. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, Armenian? Looks, uh, <laughs> looks like a Florida man to me. <laughs> One vote for yes. Derek ba Derek Rose says clearly Azerbaijani. <laughs> Half elf slash Dundane Dun Dun Homo sapien human Italian woman, uh, <laughs> Kikistani, Pandaren, <laughs> uh, Pandaren, Swarthy, From wow. mixed. <laughs> where, where was where was this, was that guy Lithuania? Wait, Lithuanian. which guy? Which guy? From Bosom Buddies, or was it like a different show? Balky? Balky, yeah. Perfect strangers? <laughs> Russian, yeah. Wait, no, I thought he was, uh, I thought it was a made up place. Russia. Mm. Yeah, no, Russia's a real place. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Right. Near. We'll keep an eye on it. I'll say, one day we're going to get to the bottom of this, man. This has been an issue since the beginning days of this. Talk about uh, old uh, mysteries. Uh, what my race is. No one really knows for sure. Yeah. So don't yell at me if I'm fun. If, I, if only race. you could ask your dad and, and he could tell you. Hold on, wait. Let me call him. Bleep, blah, bleep, hey, bleep. Dad, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird, right? What race am I? Oh, shit. Phone dropped. <laughs> If only you could do a DNA test. <laughs> do we have the same phone, Justin? Yeah, I think we do. The same type I think of we just do. Like real you fast know, it's, phone. It's the, it, it, it's the hot, hot new. Yeah. Uh, hey, Brian, what do you say we go ahead and take a look at Diamond Time? Now, Diamond, Diamond, Diamond Time, I've been hearing about this thing. Uh, uh, describe to me what uh, people, the kids are all talking about the Diamond Time. Now, is yeah. this where you go and, and, and corrupt an otherwise well-respected podcast award? Uh, yes. Oh, and how also, do you do you that? you can go to reddit.com slash r slash diamond time to shout out your project. We read the top three every single week right here on the show. Hey, you want to know what? I don't know if y'all noticed. We ain't got a lot of ads. Softco didn't renew after last week's episode. So, don't like, uh, uh, it is up to uh, you guys to get any exposure that's going to be had on this show. Just head on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. Here's the first. Uh, Abra Zombie writes, TLDR, I'm raising money for a great cause. I used to work for Hospice Buffalo, and I really want to keep helping. Any donation would mean a lot to me. I'd love uh, to walk with you at bit.ly slash capital D Diamond, capital C Club, capital H Hospice, capital W Walk. Here's, uh, here's the spiel. Okay, guys, need some help. Almost a year ago, I had to leave a job I had for over five years. It wasn't easy, but I'm doing great now. And I want to show the people that supported uh, me back when, uh, back then that I'm still here for them. 
While I can no longer continue employment with Hospice Buffalo, I took a lot away from there. Uh, seeing my life before I experienced hospice, uh, I never experienced death. Death was something that we all have in common, and for too long I ignored it. The truth about death is that we refuse to face it for what it is, just an ordinary part of everyday normal life. The men and women of Hospice Buffalo face death on a daily basis. For over five years, I worked side-by-side -side with nurses, doctors, IT people, organizers, administrators, and volunteers of Hospice Buffalo, and I know that their job is not easy. But here in our own town, we need them the hardest times in our lives. Hospice draws back a certain, uh, draws back a curtain uh, that we all ignore, and Hospice Buffalo changes the world for everyone they touch. Donate today. Again, that is bit.ly slash capital D Diamond, capital C Club, capital H Hospice, capital W Walk. Man, oh man. Uh, that's that. Uh, this is a weird show, and I love every second of it. But the fact that we just did that show and then went into a very serious meditation on the nature of death and your ability to affect those who deal with it every day is one of the happiest things that's ever happened to me. Uh, yeah, dude. And for the record, I, I know Aaron Zombie's been a, a, a friend of the show for a very long time, and uh, <clears throat> I had no idea that he was doing. Doing the, the hardest work I can imagine that entire time. So definitely, definitely, definitely head on over to bit.ly slash capital D Diamond, capital C Club, capital H Hospice, capital W Walk. <clears throat> uh, I am precise, precise, says, oh, snap, son. Are you wearing an ugly ass shirt not representing the things you love? Well, why not, fucko? Hey, guys, Nick Sky here. I was recently feeling the need for some shirts. Decided to mock up some new designs for the DC fam. If you go to teespring.com slash stores slash Nick Sky, that's N-I-C-K-S-K-Y-E, or bit.ly slash DC shirts with DNC capitalized, um, uh, hooray for the podcast awards, he says. Uh, these look great. <laughs> uh, dude, tell you what, summer's coming up. Got a bunch of podcasts happening over the summer. You know, who knows? What random shit we'll put together in two months and give Bryce a heart attack because we expect him to plan everything. <laughs> like, you never know. Never know. <clears throat> and the last one? Joe Woko writes, hello there, Diamond Club. I have recently branched out and started my own comic book-centric podcast, Cobb's Comic Corner. Yeah, it's like somebody else's three Cs. It broadcasts <laughs> live every Thursday night on talkbrunch.com. Uh, and it is archived on YouTube the next day. Cobb's Comic Corner talks comic books and everything related to them for a lovely hour chat where people can interact via the live chat room or on Skype by adding and calling Talk Brunch. Included is a link to the uh, move, uh, the most recent episode talking about event comics and the reveal of Captain America from Secret Empire. You can go here to bit.ly slash YOLO420, capital C comic, capital B book swag, to listen and hopefully subscribe to the channel and like the Facebook page for updates to know when the show goes live. Huzzah. Huzzah. Of course, uh, Diamond Time is where you can shout out your own projects. That is reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamond club dot reddit dot com. You ready for the movie draft minute? Welcome to Movie Minute presented by Cosmic Radio.tv for the week of May 1st, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. I don't care what undercover rock you crawled out from, there's a dress code for detectives and robbery homicide. Let's go check the scoreboard. Night Attack is in sixth place, still winning for the first film. Team Core Killers is in fifth place. The Circle bringing $9.6 million, bringing their total to $39.5 million. Team Scotch Bros is in fourth place, $58.3 million. Team Frog Pants is in third place, $84.2 million. Team Big and Tall is in second place, $149.2 million. And in first place, a whopping $232.7 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your movie minute for the week of May 1st, 2017. It's do or die. It's do or die weekend. Well, uh, I think it was uh, 100%. Overseas that uh, that uh, Guardians did different than than the first one, so it was like roughly a double the double the opening weekend overseas. Oh wow, really? A hundred percent increase? Yeah. So wow. that would put I think the hundred and fifty or hundred twenty five million dollar opening for the first uh, Guardians 
in the like you know conservatively 250 ish high 100s low 200s mid 200s kind of range uh you know with fast and the furious pooping yeah dude fast and the Fur fate of the furious uh totally hit the brakes so to speak uh like like just stopped and i mean and if you look at right now probably the best buy on the block was boss baby and power rangers right yeah uh certainly certainly boss baby uh by a lot um but uh yeah power rangers yeah no i guess it was it was affordable um but that yeah, was no, been, I mean, th those are the kind high. of little like surprises that you kind of need if you're going to if you're going to build the right way. Right. Yeah. So I guess uh, now he here's my only concern is I had been banking on a heavy uh, Avengers or, or, or MCU related surprise in the third act. It doesn't sound like that's the case from the reviews. It sounds like it's just straight up a slightly funnier retread of everything you loved in the first one, which is fine as far like I'll be happy to go see that, but that's not the stunning surprise that I'd hoped it was going to be. To yeah, not again, I, I don't know where like I, I I understand we agreed that we were optimistic on it. You were apparently optimistic because you had this idea that it was going to be this other thing. Well, what, I what? just thought it was going to be sure a sure. a a Guardians of the Galaxy sequel that at the very end would tilt toward them saying like, all right. Guess we got to get to Earth and then like, well, like cheap I, tricks playing like and then they go off into the sunset. Like well, you know, I, I, think I tried. Uh, I was trying to solve the mystery of why it got 100 percent, an unprecedented, never before 100 percent positive rating in the friends and family screening. And I thought that there's probably something that they were holding back. Uh, but uh, but it turns out I was wrong. Apparently, uh, apparently it was just a <laughs> real good movie. It's a good movie. I'm going to see it. Do you have yeah. your ticket? Uh, no, I probably should. Uh, yeah, man. I got seven o'clock Thursday right there in the Alamo draft house. Go uh, meet me in the, uh, meet me in the bar. I'll be there. I'll, I'm going to tailgate. I'm going to leave right <laughs> after DTNS. I'm just going to, uh, uh, bring a, uh, a little hibachi and sit outside the Alamo draft house and cook hot dogs and, and be like, woo, guardians. <laughs> seems, seems legit. Yeah, you're gonna be playing your uh, your Walkman, screaming, singing along to to Night Ranger <laughs> or yeah. whatever. I, I actually I won't listen to the uh, the soundtrack because because you want to be surprised by all the, the yeah, retro. Yeah, I want to I want to be like, oh, they did that song. Like I don't because <laughs> I, I if I just even look at the track list. I just know, like, I'm going to be like, oh, I wonder when they're going to play that. And See, I, I, I think that. I have to listen to the soundtrack. Otherwise, I'm going to be constantly hoping that they play the theme song to Silver Spoons the entire time. And then when they don't, I'll be really disappointed. The theme song to the show Silver Spoons? Yeah, yeah, with, with Ricky Schroeder in it. Uh, yeah. You know, here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons, hoping to find we're two of a kind. No? Together. No. We're gonna I went a little bit before my time. No, I went, oh, okay. I went in the silver spoon. Yeah, sky. no. Uh, uh, yeah, you remember the the dorky cousin from uh, 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 Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but before that, sure. he was on. He was the black friend on Silver Spoons. <clears throat> yeah, because he was black before he was Carlton. Yes, he was the the black friend. <laughs> he was the black friend. <laughs> Which is funny because on Fresh Prince, he was the white brother. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh man I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what uh, uh this is uh this, this is a is, pretty good episode this is man. the fine quality consistent programming you've come to expect from diamond group enterprises uh bringers of the spirit of podcasting awards uh coming <laughs> coming yeah. this year you know what we're actually gonna do we're not uh oh my god brian i what? just realized what we should legitimately do the Spirit of Podcasting Awards, yeah. and then we should find all the winners by a legit seance. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me the legit seance involves at least one moment where it becomes a battle of strength. <laughs> it, 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 it just, no, no, no. It's like all of us like holding hands like, spirits, if you define that the beer is... 
should be the best newcomers. Please give us a sign. And then and then a, a wood block tips over, and we're just oh. like, oh, oh, the beer is you won. It's pretty great. A live seance. A live seance to find out who the spirits of podcasting hey, we'll, we'll, really think are the best. We'll 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 live stream it. Uh, I know. Didn't did Ebert have a podcast or was that just a blog? <laughs> did it, wait, uh, 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 Roger Ebert. Roger Ebert. Yeah, I think he just had a blog. Is that just the blog? Yeah, I guess yeah. he had all the he had the 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 face thing, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to think of a dead podcaster. <laughs> Holy crap. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> um we learned a lot, Justin. Uh what, what did we learn today? <laughs> well, you know, uh we learned to not bring up child abuse in the first ten minutes. Oh wow! That, uh, <laughs> that, that, that's... Is there some thing I can do? Oh no, night. Is done. <laughs> Did you ever feel so bad? And this is the whole lullaby. Did so, so if you yeah, want to talk so, out, hold on. No, I, I want to watch this. Uh, did somebody somebody cut together a bunch of ditties I of the night attack theme? This is ICU. He spent his birthday doing this. His this is amazing. Uh, Die to fire. Yeah, see you next Tuesday. Crank it. you guys.